Hello everyone, it is me, Brittany, and welcome back to my channel. I am very bright today, and I have finally done some eyeshadow so I can post on Instagram. <laughs> I was running out of close-up eye shots to post <laughs> for my theme. Like, I tried to do an eyeshadow look in Queenstown, it failed. You'll probably see in my thumbnails where I have eyeshadow on, but you don't see me wearing the eyeshadow in the video. That is why <laughs> I failed, and yeah, no, we won't talk about that, but I have finally come out of that rock <laughs> I've been living in for a little bit. There's been a lot that's been going on. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm here to talk to you about it right now. <laughs> right, so I suppose I'll start off with the biggest news that I have. Very happy to announce and say that me and Henry have finally, actually, successfully brought a house. Yay! Yay! <laughs> It's been a while, well, I was about to say it's been a long time coming, but like the whole house process has definitely been a very up, down sort of process, like literally like, <laughs> So we have to consider ourselves very, 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 very lucky that we got this house actually. You know, so it started off, right, <laughs> we were looking at the houses on Trade Me Properties, as you do, you know, up to 400k, but obviously I looked also up to the 450k price range because some of the houses that you could get for under 400 were in that bracket for some godly known reason. But, so yeah, so we were looking around and I seen that one, it had a flat roof, so I fully like brushed it off. I was like, yeah, nah, you know, flat roof, we don't need a house with a flat roof. I fully was like, nah, fuck that. And I kind of just like brushed it off. And then as we were like looking at more into houses and stuff, I like a lot of the houses we were going to and trying to put in like because we put in two, uh, we put in a total of two other offers on two other houses, and those houses ended up selling for like a hundred thousand more. <laughs> so that's when I started being like, okay, no, I have to actually lower my standards just a little bit, you know. So that's when I started looking at places like our new home. And I was like, oh yeah, flat roof. Like, I mean, the inside looks, like, you know, lovely for what it is. So I'm like, I don't know why I didn't, like, initially want to check it out. So I don't think I actually looked at the photos. I think I just looked at that front page of the flat roof and was like, nah. Yeah. You know, like, it's whatever. But then, so, I requested a whole bunch of viewings for four different houses, I think. Two of them had two bedroom, which isn't ideal for us at all. But, like, you know, we had to lower our standards to be able to get in the game and then so the real estate agent got back to us so we put in the request and then the next morning at 4 a.m. he replied to Henry saying hey yo come in at 12 o'clock and me and Henry woke up at 12 o'clock <laughs> seeing that 4 a.m. email we were like oh shit you know like can you do it any other time like keep in mind we were like why can't it just be any other day you know so we replied asking when else, like what other time we could go in to view the house. And then he literally replied saying like, oh, come in at one. And so keep in mind, it was probably like 12.30 at this point. So I text my mum, I'm like, could you please drop us off in like 20 minutes to go to this house? And, and then so we got out of bed. We're literally in bed at this point. So we jumped out of bed, chucked our clothes on, left went to the house, looked around, it was actually lovely, you know, like I walked in and I'm like, oh this is nice, it's really funny because the door frames are like lower, <laughs> like because they raised the floor for, you know, it's like South Dunedin bullshit right there, but um, so it was actually kind of funny, it was like really cute, it had a patio and oh, it was just, it was really nice, and it has, it's fully fenced and private, I love it, like I actually do really love it. And then so the real estate agent fully is like, oh yeah, so do you want to come to my office and make an offer? <laughs> We're like, what, why? Because the deadline was 2 p.m. that day. So we're in, it's quarter past one or so on. He's like, you know, like, you, if you want to put in an offer, you're going to have to do it today. So we went straight to his office, his lovely office, <laughs> and we put in it out. Like, my first original offer was 390 he said to us at the house it was between 250 350 so we're like well you know like we want it <laughs> 390 and then 
so that was done and dusted and that sort of thing and then a few days later he comes back and says that the vendors want to you know they want to accept our offer but there's another offer that is close to ours but with no conditions see like the real estate agent made us put on all the conditions which was weird for us because you know we didn't we weren't going to do it which is stupid which we know now we know so much more about buying a house now than we did before buying a house obviously it is one of the three most stressful things you could do in a life buying a house marriage and divorce there you go so yeah we're like okay well so we upped our offer to 395 they accepted it Woo! <laughs> we thought yay we, you know basically we got the house but and then that's where we started getting like the valuation which was 750 dollars and then things like the builder report which is like 250 dollars but the builder report came back and we like since this is the first ever builder report we have seen in our lives we're like oh my god oh my god it's fucked we can't get it you know we can't afford to fix it you know and all that sort of stuff but then literally like days like went by and we're like oh no it's actually all good you know it's actually not as bad as we thought you know every house you move into there's going to be something <laughs> so then that was like okay and then we then I got my dad's friend to do an electrical report and then <laughs> that was another downfall. So like we ended up being negative to positive and then the electrical report came back and went back straight to negative. <laughs> we're like, we're like, oh my goodness, the electrical report was actually the worst one out of it all. Oh, so we're like, oh my goodness, no. And then our lawyer said that we could ask them to do it, like do the electrical work that needs done in order for it to be safe in the house. Because another thing was that, like, it was a massive fire hazard, basically. But since their roof is flat, there's no crawl space in, like, the roof area. So they had to, like, take off the roof sort of thing to do the rewiring. So, yeah, that was kind of a big ask, you know. And there was also, like, a rotted window there to replace. And the hot water cylinder needs replaced. So they came back, so like we asked them all that. The lawyer read out a little letter saying, hey, this is the estimate and all that, blah, blah, blah. We were waiting, you know, so this is when we were in Queenstown and Glenorchy. We were waiting because the deadline was Friday. And we're like, have you heard anything? Have they replied? And they literally waited the whole week before they replied on the last day, basically saying, we'll do the bare minimum work. So they're not going to, like, they were going to replace the rotted window, not to replace the hot water cylinder, but do everything to make it safe, basically, which is all good if we upped our offer to 400. So that's the maximum we could actually go to and so at this stage we're like oh fuck you know like trying to work everything out we're literally in oh, we were in Glenorchy sorting this out we we're walking around and you know he's on the phone like and so yes we decided to do that we complied and we upped our offer but we were worried because our mortgage broker was like oh you might need another valuation because of the like work that is going to be done the valuation might change and we're like, there's another $750 we don't have. <laughs> we're like, we're literally working on borrowed money right now. It's actually really stressful. We're actually so, so, so lucky and thankful for everyone who has helped us during this. We wouldn't have been able to do it without any of them. <laughs> so thank you. We love you all. Yeah, so we were like, oh my god, yes, okay. And then the mortgage broker got back to us and said that the bank was all good with it. There's nothing else that needed to be done. We're like, oh, phew. And then, and then we said that to the vendors and then the vendors accepted it and then like it was kind of funny because the vendors are like, yep, yeah, cool, done. And we were like, so we got the house, <laughs> is that it? Like, because that Friday we were fully like, that was the yes or no decision that like we got the house or we didn't. And then like since this whole, it's been a whole roller coaster. And so we were like, even after the final, like we went unconditional sort of thing, we were still like, is it done? <laughs> is there anything else we need to do? Is there going to be any bad news? <laughs> but no, like, and then like over time me and Henry keep getting a bit more excited, like, like remembering like, oh my god, no, we actually do have a house. And then even our real estate agent sent us the sold, the sold um, sticker put on the sign. I'll send a picture somewhere around here. And I thought, oh, it was really nice, you know, like now I am fully I, I've emailed six breeders already let's just say that because you guys know I really want a dog and I can finally get a dog because we have a house we are moving the 3rd of August slash 4th of August that is a Monday and Tuesday <laughs> so that will be stressful I've got the plan of on the Monday I'm gonna get my mum to help me move literally everything 
that we can move in our car. Just everything, everything that we can. And then the next day will be all the big stuff with the moving truck. We actually have to make a little like, we had to go see the house after they've done the work but before we move in so we can measure up the curtains because they're taking the curtains. <laughs> But that's fine, you know, it's kind of exciting, you know, because me and Henry were talking about like, oh, you know, like we can paint the house, recarpet it, you know, do everything, like theme the rooms and stuff, because they were talking about how it's going to be like monotone sort of colours, you know, so we'll have greys, creams, blacks, whites, you know, like, oh, I can't wait, it's so exciting because it's going to be our home, and it, like, you know, I've been living in this rental for like seven years now or something ridiculous like that. So, yeah, that'll be very interesting. And I'm not looking forward to people coming in and viewing this house. Because, <laughs> like, we have a rabbit and all that, obviously. So, it'll be really awkward to try and figure out how we're going to maintain, you know, the rabbit not escaping or getting upset or anything. And yada yada. But no, I really can't wait to set up the new house and get rid of some of this old furniture we got here that we don't need to take. And, yeah, so that, that is... That is what's been going on and that's why I've been so tired and stressed and sort of demotivated to really do much because of everything that's been going on. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's really exciting because I could get a dog soon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have literally already got like a lot of dog like equipment. Like the next thing I'm going to buy is probably a crate. I have been emailing breeders for dash hounds, Italian greyhounds and schnauzers or miniature schnauzers. And one of them was more keen like one of the six breeders that replied to me fully asked like what gender and color and you know they said they would give me an estimate on when i'd be able to like when they would have a dog for me and that was one of the dash hound ones which i'm very happy for that is my dream dog that is the dog like that i love and want to love <laughs> you know oh <laughs> I need to take a breather, this is too much excitement for me. I've literally been waiting my whole life, my whole 20 years of this, of my being on this planet. <laughs> no, no, I have never owned a dog and I, I feel like, I, I say to Henry, he gets a little offended, but I say I have like a hole in my heart missing because I need to fill that up with a dog. <laughs> like everyone that I like, that knows me knows how badly I've been wanting to d a dog. But of course I have to choose the expensive breeds, <laughs> the ones where there's hardly any breeders in New Zealand. Trust that, you know, I'll probably spend like $4,000 on a dash. <laughs> but every penny is worth it in my eyes, honestly, like I could spend 10000 okay, well, no, that's a bit ridiculous, but uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't mind. $4,000 is a lot of money, but isn't a lot of money for a dog in my eyes. And like there's other things that I've been wanting for ages, there's like corner couches and stuff like, oh, we're gonna have to buy a corner couch ASAP. But yeah, no, there's a lot of things that we've, that's been going on and we've been planning. And finally today we got some boxes, some trip boxes from work so we can start packing because it is like three weeks away now. But you know, we've worked it all out. We know what is going to be the rabbit room, what's going to be my YouTube room and our bedroom. And it's, oh, I can't wait. It is exciting. It really is. <laughs> I just want to move in there already. Just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting me on this channel too. Like also, woohoo, 100 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I can't believe it. I seen it go up and I was like, <laughs> I have to do a giveaway ASAP like I after I get all this house stuff all sorted and settled start saving for a giveaway so keep your eyes peeled for that as well as Instagram being over a thousand followers like hello I have to do a big giveaway there's the least I can do for you guys I just want to say thank you all so much I am super 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 grateful for you all and I love you all but I suppose that is enough chit chat that is a lot of talking and a lot of excitement in one video <laughs> I have exciting ideas for videos that that I'll be making at some point when I'm not so busy <laughs> so hopefully I can still work in everything together and not tire myself out like I have been recently but you yeah, know I am super happy and excited I can't wait till we're all settled in and then so I can relax a bit more and make more better YouTube videos for you guys and more makeup looks and all that. So yeah, no, I suppose I better wrap up this video. I will say thank you all so much for watching. If you've made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. I love you. Yes, and I'm grateful for you. 
and yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe too much excitement <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm making new videos every Tuesday and sometimes an extra video on a Saturday if I got it ready, which I am doing right now. <laughs> but not to be confusing, but yeah, no, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!